There he is. There he is driving it. There he is. Right there. See him? There he is. See it? Lee Motors there. There he is. Care to answer any questions? Yeah, isn't that isn't that amazing how ignorance is a perfect defense for you but not for me? What would you like answered? Well, what are you doing driving this car around? I'll tell you exactly what I was doing. Go ahead. Get back I've away never, from me. I've never, I've never lied to anybody about anything. Okay. I'm certainly not going to lie to you. Sure. Obviously you don't like that I won my election, is that correct? Or the Republicans won? Why don't you cut to the chase? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. No, I'm asking you a question. Is okay. That right? I won't. I won't edit it. I, I promise you that. I called here for an appointment for my wife's car a month ago to get a the thermostat. Mm -hmm. Right? So they had the thermostat came in Friday. Mm -hmm. So I had to get this done. So I came in, I said, How long is it gonna take? Two hours. Oh, we'll give you a lower car. You can I said I got a couple of meetings now travelers in. That's what I did. Okay. This is the loaner car that mm -hmm. was given. I bet you'll look at the plates a little more oh, careful no, next time. I'm, I'm, you know, quite frankly, I didn't look at the plates because I assume that's what they do, and I know they do that for a lot of people. Well, they're going to have to change their practice, aren't they? And I they? think if you go down the street here to the old Steinbrings, mm -hmm. you'll find the same kind of policy there. Okay. Maybe you should go they're, follow. They're going to have to change so their maybe, policy. Maybe you should follow some of those people around. How many how many well, cars do they get to drive that? around all over like they want when they're supposed to only be issued for driving why, why, from, from one sale to another? Why are you following me around? If I I'll tell here. you why, and I'll do this off. I won't. I won't, I won't edit it. I promise you that. I called here for an appointment for my wife's car a month ago to get a the thermostat. Mm -hmm. Right. So they had the thermostat came in Friday. Mm -hmm. So I had to get this done. So I came in. I said, "How long is it going to take? Two hours." Oh, we'll give you a lower car. You can. I said, "I got a couple of meetings now. Travelers in." That's what I did. Okay. This is the loaner car that mm -hmm. was given. I bet you'll look at the plates a little more oh, careful no, next time. I'm, I'm, you know, quite frankly, I didn't look at the plates because I assume that's what they do, and I know they do that for a lot of people. Well, they're going to have to change their practice, aren't and I they? I think if you go down the street here to the old Steinbrings, mm -hmm. you'll find the same kind of policy there. Okay. Maybe you should go they're, follow. They're going to have to change so their maybe, policy. Maybe you should follow some of those people around. How many how many well, cars do they get to drive that? around all over like they want when they're supposed to only be issued for driving why, why, from, why, from one sale you, to another? Why are you following me around? If I like I'll tell you why, and I'll do this off. Why don't you uh, answer your that. friends about your you answer the question about your your campaign worker in the last election, who was caught hacking into Democrats' computers in Louisiana? Oh, you talking about Joe Basil? That's right. He was a staffer that was hired uh -huh. for me from the the Senate Victory Fund. Mm -hmm. They don't vet uh, their candidates very well, do they? Did you know that he was no. defacing uh, uh, diversity uh, no, posters no. on campus when he was a student are at you, U of M? Are you asking me this? One question? year before? Are you asking? Yeah, me I'm asking you that. You did you know that? Right, rude. Did why, you know that? Why would I even be interviewed? Did by you know that? Why would I? Why did, would so I you did know that. that? You know why I'm being interviewed? You by did you know that, didn't you? You did. I care about you, Judge. You knew that that guy was a crook. Absolutely not. And a loose cannon. And you hired him anyway. You would have read. You can blame somebody else, but like you don't pick your own help. Judge. This is all sounding. He's really, in jail now. Really How many other friends he got in jail? No, he's not in jail. Oh yeah, he was. No, he's not. He was in jail. Not the night in jail, but he's not. The no, yeah. Jail. I suppose if you did it, you probably wouldn't even spell one night. Charge was. You do. Good. You rich people do whatever the hell you want to do. People. Yeah, you rich entitled people do whatever the hell you want. Oh, and when you Republicans get to the state, you're going to screw oh, us poor people it's blind. About the Republicans, Judd, isn't it? Yeah. So every one of you oh, crooked, oh, re greedy, rich, oh, favor passing Republicans. Oh, so you're going to are you going to are you going to allow me some some grace here now to? Well, I wouldn't get that much grace. As to why this car? Wait till the state finds out they're passing these out like candy. They only get so many of those of deal, regular dealer plates they only get three and I bet their wife's driving that and their Judge. cousin's driving that and they just run out of them for their good gonna, friend Bill. Is this going to be an ongoing thing? Are you going to follow me around this community? You are an elected official. I can follow you wherever I want. Well, that's what you're going to do. That's going to be your job? No. Judge? I'm going to monitor your behavior and make sure you're not breaking any more laws. Okay. Alright. So there you have it. I uh, have to admit I got a little excited. Um... It's not every day that you see a state senator just totally scoffing at the law. He, he told me, I'm going to tell him about the thermostat. He said that his, he brought his car there, his wife's car, to get fixed because the thermostat was stuck. Okay, I'm not going to get too detailed, but I am a mechanic. And if a thermostat's stuck on a car, you don't drive it. You'd be on the side of the road with a blown motor. You can't drive that thing to, the, to, the, to get it fixed. You have to have somebody tow it or something. He said he drove the, that car with the stuck thermostat, okay, all the way to Lee Motors, and that that was a loaner car and that they just gave him the wrong one, okay. A regular dealer's plate would have been lawful for that purpose. The dealer's light, light dealer in transit plate is not legal 
for that purpose as a loaner vehicle. Okay, that's not, it can't be used that way. And we'll, deter, we'll deter, ascertain that too with, with future follow-ups with the state offices. So, you see what I did? I followed Bill. He's right there. He saw him get out of the car. He drove it. You know, he, he tries to get me off track by all this Democrat, Republican stuff. Alexander is a very Republican area. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. You're going to get voted in if you're a Republican. You notice how he said, well, I got elected four times as your sheriff. Well, I will also point out that he was unopposed uh, just about every time, I think. And, you know, he, he now he's the sen state senator again. He's been se state senator elected now for another, well, a week. He's running around breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Bill, shame on you. And public... Pay attention to what all your elected officials do to suck in all the perks and benefits they can. And you will see us in future videos confronting the city attorney of Alexandria, Minnesota by the name of Lurvik, John Lurvik, although we didn't get to see him. The scales of justice tipped us right out of the office, you're going to find out. We're going to go talk to county attorney Chris Carpan, who's on his way out. Uh, Chad Larson beat him. Uh, and then you're going to see us go and make a statement when we suddenly realized, oh, Lee Motors is outside the city limits. They're kicking us around and they don't want to file charges. He did it in two jurisdictions. So we go to the deputy and file another complaint. And that deputy was, we'll see if he does his job. But stay tuned. There'll be a lot more on this. We're not done with you, Bill. <laughs> So, I'm going to sing now. Ooh, ooh, I got you where I want you, Bill. Oh, I got you where I want you, yeah.